Hey guys. Finally looks like Canada, eh? Mm -hmm. We are out. We got a good dump in the snow yesterday. It's like a blizzard. We got like 40 to 50 centimeters depending on the area. I don't know what that is in inches, like 25 inches, give or take, here and there. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping I could blast around in the snow all day, but I had to work. So bad timing there. Hopefully next snowstorm I'm free. And we're just out and about. I'm rocking my brand new Pro Max mono suit. This thing's pretty sweet. For Memorial Distributing. It is comfy, it is warm. I got my Pro Max boots on. This is the second pair of these boots I got. They're freaking awesome. And, oh cool, I didn't even know there was a mountain there. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go for a little rip. We're gonna go do some Canadian drive through uh, we might go to Starbucks or something, get a coffee, see if there's any open seats on the patio. You know, it is a Tuesday, so it shouldn't be too busy out on the patio, eh? Um, because here in Canada, you can't dine inside again because of silly regulations. But hopefully not too many people are taking advantage of the beautiful weather on the patio, so we might not have to wait too long to get a nice seat today. <laughs> um, so I know we're gonna cruise the Razor into town, so that's always a good time because a lot of people stare. Um, so yeah. We got the lovely Ksenia here. I wonder how this GoPro 10 is going to do in the snow. They claim it does well, but according to what I'm seeing right now, it's not doing the greatest. We will see it on the computer. No, you look really dark and the snow looks really light. There, that's better. Okay, so, yeah, we'll see how the GoPro does in the <laughs> snow. It's my, haha, <laughs> it's my first time playing with the GoPro 10 in the snow and every camera's a little different. I'm really used to the sevens and they do really well. I've noticed the GoPro 10s has some issues with highlights and shadows and stuff like that. So I got to tweak the settings and figure it out. Ksenia's rocking her fin trail as usual. I love my fin trail. With layers. She's got the- uh, Lots of layers. She's so yeah, so she's got like two layers, two base layers on and then a pair of leggings and then the fin trail. So for all you guys that are wondering, Fin Trail makes some winter riding gear, but their wading outfits, like their suits like this that you're used to, they're not insulated, but you can insulate underneath them. It's one of those things where like, you kind of got to layer up for the weather. It's actually pretty warm. You're pretty warm. It My stops all much. the wind, right? It, it's waterproof. So you don't get much wind through there. So as long as you stay warm, the heat kind of stays in. How are your feet? Great. And now it's not too cold out today. It's pretty, it's pretty balmy. It's like, well, like minus three or something. Yeah, but yeah. I also have those fin trail socks. Oh yeah, warm. she's got the fin trail merino wool socks. Those things are bomb. Mm -hmm. They are actually like for me, they're almost too warm because like my hands and my feet stay pretty warm. I'm always cold. She always gets cold. So uh, the merino wool socks from fin trail, highly recommend them. I've got a bunch of merino wool socks from like various brands. The fin trail ones are comfy and they're my favorite so far. I've got some from FXR too that work really well, but the fin trail ones in my books are the best and they're cheap. So uh, let's ride, that's enough talking. This is just gonna be kind of like a vloggy style video. We're just going out for a little rip. And, uh, and by the way, fin trail men, men socks are fit women. Yeah, the fin trail men socks fit women. Um, they're a little on the bigger side, but they're cozy. I'm pretty small. You're, yeah, so her feet are pretty small. What do you wear? 37 and a half. 37 and a half, what's that in America sizes? Seven, eight, seven. Seven in women's or seven in men's? Seven in women. Seven and women's, yeah. So if you're looking for some socks for your girlfriend who always complains that her feet are cold. <laughs> got the Super ATV windshield on there, the full glass windshield for ripping like this, it's awesome. We got the full poly rear. I never ended up putting the side panels on because I just can't, I can't force myself to do it. I got them, but it's not cold enough and I just hate the visibility issues of having like the soft doors. It's closed in and claustrophobic enough with the windshields. Cause a lot of you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the windshields, but in the cold, cold weather, the road riding, it's nice. And it keeps a lot of the snow out of your face. But as soon as the weather improves, those windshields are coming off. All right, let's go for a little rip, eh? We're just gonna go for a little cruise in the fresh powder here on the backyard trails. And then we're gonna make our way into town and hit up that patio. You guys are gonna love that. Drop a comment below and let us know, do you do any winter riding? Does it snow much where you ride? And uh, are the trails open or is there a place to ride? And if you do, uh, are you rocking tracks or just tires? And do you ever uh, creep into town and do some urban riding or some side-by-side drive-through action? 
In certain areas, side-by-sides are more street legal than others. I know all around the states in a lot of areas, they're completely legit. And then depending on where you are in Canada, you can get away with it as well. Are side-by-sides street legal where you live? pretty lucky I've got a basic little trail park uh, in my backyard there's a few acres behind the house I can take advantage of where I can go out and go for a little rip when I feel like it it's nothing crazy but it still gives you a good fix after work or if you just want to go for a little cruise seeing the main downside of a roof mounted light bar there um, they're always at risk of smacking a branch or getting ripped off so you really got to pay attention to that but they are really the best spot to put your light bar if you want the best kind of light distribution because it's the highest spot of the machine the joys of a full windshield. There are definitely some downsides like we've talked about before and you're seeing one of them. I got me a squeegee. Ta-da! Stuff you gotta have when you got a full windshield. Yeah, if I had a window defroster or heat, then the windshield would stay warmer and the snow would melt off of it. But unfortunately, that's not the case right now, running an open uh, cab and um, not having any kind of a defrost. So you just adapt and deal with it. of you know I'm trying out the Tusk Power Sports Megabytes. They're a new tire offered by Tusk through Rocky Mountain ATVMC. If you don't already know we got an affiliate link. Smash that affiliate link. We get a little bit of commission off all the sales. Helps the channel grow. These work quite well. I'm running four PSI in the front and I'm running six PSI in the rear right now on a beadlock wheel. Um, these are the, the set of Tusk beadlocks. These are a 32 by 10 by 15. Uh, at 4 PSI though, they, they kind of measure to like a 30 and a half. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're gonna be running low PSIs. The next time I get a set of megabytes, I'm gonna get the 34 inch version. And that way if I'm running like four pounds, I'll probably be measuring around a true 32 uh, in hindsight. But actually, I like a slightly smaller tire sometimes because it allows you to have a lot more wheel spin. And uh, in these situations, I don't so much need the clearance. I'm better off with a lighter wheel package that lets me spin more. Less abuse on the machine.
the thing with ripping around in the snow if you guys don't ride in it much is like you got one chance at a good climb two chances maybe at a decent climb and after that it just starts getting sketchy that's why you watch some of the videos from when we shoot in the winter and like the first guy makes it look easy and then you're like oh yeah i can do that that's easy and then you like you barely make it up and you spin a lot and you glaze it over and ice it and then the third guy is like oh he made it up and then it gets interesting because every time you spin those tires it melts the ice and moves it all out of the way and gets rid of all the grip and even running low air pressure the rubber just can't grip anything it's all smooth um so i think for next ride up at greg's before we go uh with all this type of snow i'm gonna stud these tires i'm gonna slap a ton of eye grips in here and then if i had if i had studs there i would have i would have crawled right up that because it's got some sort of bite because it's been so cold that the ground is it's really frozen and you take off that little bit of surface tack and that that texture and it just smooths out in the glass um so yeah it's fun riding in the winter is always so much about wheel spin and just momentum you really got to like get a run for it usually i don't need that much of a run for this hill in the summertime or the springtime and usually i can't get a run like that because that's swamp where i was backing into in the summer if i backed in there it would eat my machine uh so the terrain really changes in the winter and you can actually explore a lot of areas in the winter time you can't in the summer um so it, it's a cool terrain type to explore I, I wish i had more time to winter ride um but yeah let's go get some coffee just a side knot that suit, suit looks really good there yeah this is like my straight up like battle wagon race suit yeah. like look at this thing it looks awesome it really suits the machine the gloves the helmet everything it's like it was meant to be i'm super stoked about it. it's really comfortable and and i'm i'm quite warm i'm not super layered under here just a base layer and a sweatshirt and um yeah it's pretty good at all and the shock set to full soft and the suspension set up pretty low this thing's like a trophy truck it's so loose it feels cool i just gotta wipe the windshield i got this as much for the inside of the windshield as the outside
We're just here on a romantic date. At Tim Hortons. Luckily they had some patio spots left. We cleared this one off, it's really nice. Yeah. You know, just a nice Canadian patio weather here. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. If you want to see some, now I got to cut that out. These videos yeah. are PG. <laughs> I can't put that in the videos. Yes, you can. No, people are going to think it's lame. <laughs> Unless I leave that part in it. <laughs> Honey cruller. A classic. Anyways, if you don't follow us on Instagram and on Facebook already, you should. Because there's going to be a really funny reel of this video. So we're just getting here to Tim Hortons, eh? Hopefully they got some spots on the patio. It's such a nice day. Oh yeah, looks like they got a few open spots there for us. Could I get a large coffee, please? All right, let's grab it. Is this middle one good? Yeah. Grab a seat, baby. Here, let me clear the table for you. Tim Hortons, how much more Canadian do you get, eh? You always take me on such a unique date, Julian. I know, baby. It's pretty simple. Every redneck's a man, but not every man can be a redneck. I thought that guy was going to go the wrong way in the drive-thru. That's badass. <laughs> but yeah, Razor's over there. Tim Horton's over here. Girlfriend right there. Fin Trail 2. Pro Max Mono Suit. Coffee. Good time. Nice Tuesday evening. Senya was saying, hey, say what you said earlier about the date thing. You always make such unique dates. Yeah, I told her I sure do. Because I said, Every redneck is a man, but not every man can be a redneck. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cheers to that. You can't find a date like this on Pinterest, ladies. Pinterest? Yeah, I heard that's an app girls use for stuff. For, yeah. Like getting dating ideas that their guys will never do, looking at wedding rings, and finding recipes of stuff that they want to test on their loving partners <laughs> that probably does not look close to as good as the picture they showed us. Yeah. You like this I'm app. sure you've all been a victim I... of Pinterest, whether you know it or not. You like the food I cook always and it's almost yes I do I love it all I love it all baby you just found a really awesome girlfriend admit it okay fine okay take whatever I have left of my manhood <laughs> <laughs> at least I still have my razor go get go go find a girl who would want to go on such a such a day, there's so much snow, eating outside, drinking fun. Ladies, hit me up in the DMs, okay? Yeah, drop me a comment below. All six of you. So like probably one of you isn't married and you're probably more manly than I am. Which is cool, as long as you have a nice personality and you like to ride. No. No. Okay. Ooh, an aeroplane. Ooh, it's super nice out. He's taken. I'm taken. I can only afford one razor, she's right. Well, I'm gonna finish my coffee before it turns into an iced coffee. So there's all these people coming through the drive-thru and it's like a 50-50 mix of like people smiling or like people like interacting with us and saying that thing's so cool and like or you hear the comments because their window is still down and then there's like the 50% that are Karens and they're like Mm. Mm. He's he's personally attacking me. It's like, what did I do to you? Just keep driving. I've never seen so many people use the garbage by the drive-thru. I need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> and like, not in the bush, you know? There's no garbage cans in the bush. Well, I'm sure this video is getting pretty boring. <laughs> But yeah, make sure you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook because we post some cool, funky reels from like all sorts of the shenanigans like this that we do. And they're just a lot more funnier and, 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 and watchable and enjoyable when you condense them into a minute uh, instead of having me sitting here and talking. But other YouTubers seem to do this talk to the camera thing and people listen all the time. I just got to figure out, I guess my 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the fact that my viewing base is cooler than theirs. The rays are starting to look good, all lit up. Oh yeah, I bet you can't see it. Are you warm? Yeah. Angel, do it, snow warm. angel. Should I? Are you gonna do a snow angel? Yeah. You're gonna get cold and your hair's gonna yeah. get cold and then we gotta drive home and you're gonna c complain. Do you? I just saw the pure later truck. There's a package here. Wonder who it's for. Royal distributing must be for me. Hope it's nothing fragile. Hey, this doesn't look like it's for me. This won't even fit me. Here, you have it. The razor looks badass with all these lights. My buddy Sean and his X3 when we were leaving the gas station he was out having some fun so you know had to do some donuts together here you see me messing around with the Baja Designs lights I've got the Baja Designs squadron headlight conversion as well as the Onyx 6 30 inch roof light bar and here you can see the evil red glow of the mic tuning rock lights I've got on the machine I've got 16 rock lights total lighting this thing up Also got a single red LED dome light from Baja Designs which gives off an insane amount of light for the size it is and I'm rocking the Adrenaline Off-Road Outfitters LED whips. How's it look with all the snow? Cool. Oh, it's cool. So much snow. 
All the Baja design's lighting is insane. It puts out so much light, especially with the snow reflecting it all. It's crazy bright. And I've also got two of their lights set up in the rear as reverse lights. If you don't already know from previous videos, I'm running a full turbo back HMF exhaust system, the Titan Quiet Series and I have a Rev-1 blow-off valve from Super ATV. It's venting to the atmosphere through a custom plumbing setup, which you can see on the channel. I uploaded a video a little while ago. It's awesome how much the terrain changes and the trails change when you add a little bit of snow. I know I talk about in a lot of my videos how the weather conditions and time of year really impact the feel of the trail, the difficulty of certain sections, and kind of like the, the overall atmosphere of the ride. Like it looks so cool here like with all the snow running through like this tunnel of trees. so bright. This is a nice spot for a picture. Look! Oh. <laughs> Should we take a quick picture? Sure. It's a winter wonderland. I love the way the Razor looks at night with all these new lighting upgrades. The red glow looks evil, especially now in the snow. It just, it, it's so cool looking. Let me know what you think. Is your machine lit up? Leave a comment. Okay, I don't know how well you can see me. But uh, that's about it for our night ride or our little local snow ride that turned into a bit of a night ride. I know a lot of you guys don't get the pleasure of driving in the snow and we don't get the pleasure of driving in the snow as much as we used to here with the weather patterns changing. But it's always a good time. Uh, everything changes. Easy trails become tricky and so forth when it ices up and it gets all snowy. And the machine looks super cool all um, lit up and covered in snow and the cool thing about it is it cleans itself pretty much it just melts if you got a nice warm place to park it that is because it sure sucks trailering your machine home when it's like minus 20 and it freezes into an icicle but luckily we don't have to do that anyway smash that like button guys i know this video is a little different than usual just more of a vloggy type kind of fun video you know a nice way to spend a tuesday night um it's not all about huge, big rides. You know, the Razor's a lot of fun any day of the week and just getting out for a little ride, no matter where you go, is always a good time. Sure beats sitting at home, especially when you got some wicked, um, nice forests and nice places to go around in a nice patio to enjoy a drink on, on this nice, beautiful Canadian night. <laughs> so yeah, smash that subscribe button. Check out the other content if you're looking for more ride videos. And as always, check out all our supporters and sponsors. Big thanks and shout out to them. And follow us on Instagram and on Facebook where we're going to post a bunch of really cool pictures of this bad boy lit up. guys that have been watching for a while are aware my favorite videos to make are the extended length trail ride videos the long format content seems to do really well a lot of people enjoy it so there's gonna be a new one dropping next week probably Wednesday or Thursday that's a good trail ride from this past November so stay tuned for that it's gonna be a good one and you guys will enjoy it I wish I could upload more and uh, more frequently when it comes to the longer ride content but it just takes so long to make those videos I, I do the best I can to keep it coming I've also got some really 
cool giveaways coming from some of the channel supporters, so stay tuned for information on those on future uploads. Ooh, that's awesome. It's so much fun playing in the snow. I wonder how it looks on video. Guess we'll find out. Holy oh, cow. Good. It cleans itself, it just melts off. Look at that. All right, guys, ride safe out there and see you in the next video. Say bye. 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 Bye.